Hey guys, it's Greg. In this video, I would like to show you Nekojima by Unfriendly Games. Uh, this is our uh, cover, cover, this is our box. This is a prototype, so remember that those components are not final. The game is right now on Kickstarter, so if you like puzzle games and simple games, uh, I encourage you to just check the, uh, the link below. The Nekojima is puzzle game for, I, I, for, for, for sure it's a gateway game, uh, family game also, but I think it also can be great party game as we played it uh, with our friends and everybody loves it and we are not so young anymore. So, um, Nekojima, uh, in this video I want to show you the rules, how it works, how it looks like and what you can expect when you finish building this electric system. So this is Nekojima, this is, uh, game is set on a table and uh, now let me tell you what you can do with all those poles and wires. Um, so the Nekojima is a 3D puzzle game, it's uh, definitely a gateway game. Uh, some of, for some people tell that this can be family game, but I believe it can also be a great party game because there's a lot of fun, it's like a little bit of maybe... Um, uh, how maybe some kind of Yenga a little bit. I don't know. I never played Yenga. So um, what you are going to do and what you can expect with all those um, 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 those poles and those wires. Well, you can build something like this. And how we can build it? So the game can be played in two uh, two ways, like co-op and in competitive mode. You also can play it in uh, in, uh, in teams. But let me tell you what uh, what are the mechanics. So we, in here we have playing area with four districts, and you are going to use those dice to determine in which district you are going to put two ends of the wire and basically two uh, two poles. So you're rolling a dice. And um, for example, in here we have two green, but maybe this is a bad idea. So let's make green and, and green and red. And now in this bag, we have also colorful cubes. Uh, colors are exactly as the colors of the wire. So we have four, three colors over here, but also there are uh, black cubes. Black cubes are for cuts. So every time you are going to draw a cut, you are also uh, forced to, to hang a cut on a wire and you need to hang it on exactly the same color of the wire as you are, uh, as you put on a, on a board. So in this example, I, I have green and red and I'm drumming one dice, uh, one cube from the bag and it's going to be, it's going to be black one. Uh, so uh, it's gonna, and also white. So I need to draw another one to check the color. So I need to put white wire on a green and red district. So basically I've chosen this one and I'm adding the holes in those two districts. Now, uh, as I roll, as I have the uh, black cube, I also need to put a cut on a wire. So rules for the cuts. First of all, they cannot touch the, uh, the bottom of the board. Second one, there can only be one cut, cut per wire. Now uh, I am going to try to hang it somehow. Yeah, so and there's, there's a little bit of uh, tension in here. Now I'm going to roll again a dice and this time I have blue and green and again I'm, I'm drawing a die from a uh, a, a, a cube from a bag and again I have a white. So I'm choosing again a pair of pair of poles and a wire and now I need to put it on a blue and a green district. And now here is the thing because I can put these again back on the back, back on the board. So basically just like maybe like this. So I touch the wires, I shouldn't. This is the this is the thing that you cannot do. You cannot touch wires. So but I'm just showing you how this works. So I can put it like this, but also I can do something different. I can create a higher pole and create something like this. And it works somehow. <laughs> Again, uh, you're rolling a dice and again you're adding another and another pair of poles with a, with a wire. And now 
depending on a on a game style, a game uh, yeah style, let's say, uh, a little bit different rules you need to remember. So if when you are playing in a competitive mode, so basically in competitive mode you only have a loser because of the first player who destroys the. Uh, installation is a loser, the rest of the players are considered winners. When you are playing as a co-op, you have this extra board with seven levels and each time you draw a cube, you need to put it inside this thing. Four cubes per level, seven levels. When you complete all of these, you can consider, you can think about yourself as a winner because as a group, you manage to create seven levels and you put all of the cubes from the back on this board. But that's not all because we also have uh, another um, system. I mean, another way to play it. It's called, I think, urban jungle. And in here you have those eggs. Uh, I mean, those uh, bird nests. And the, that means that you can put only two pole stacks on top of each other. So in this my example, I already put those two. Uh, maybe I will take it a little bit closer. So I've put those two uh, poles uh, one another on another. And now I should also put... Uh, yes. I also should put uh, this nest on the top of it. So that means I cannot add another layer of the of the pole to this one. So this is uh, Urban Jungle. It's a little bit more difficult and challenging. And there's also another way to play it. It's called the building. And this means that you have a maximum of two supporting poles placed per district. So that means, as I said, we have four districts. And in uh, when you're playing with this building mode, uh, you can only have two poles per district. So basically, if I would put another if I would put another pole in green one and this one on the red one, that's the maximum. I cannot add more uh, poles to the green district. So if, uh, each another pole needs to be put on top of uh, the previous one. Of course, you cannot play with this jungle variant because it's impossible to have. Oh, you, it's impossible to have only two um, poles on the ground and also the nests on the top. Because there's too many of the of this of these sets to to put on the board, and basically that's it. So this is the game. It's very fun. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, we played it uh, in the past weekend at least five times, also with our friends. Everyone loved it. It's a, it's a great party game, and I must say we are not teenagers anymore. So this is Nekojima. The game is right now on Kickstarter. Um, if you are interested in, the, in this game, just check out the, their page because I already know that they've unlocked some new elements, some new components, some upgrades. Um, I only have prototype with those basic basics, so I cannot show you any more more, more mechanics and components. And the more is on Kickstarter page. So if you like it, uh, check it. And say, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.